go take them risks Cause they know that money gon' come The drug game is global Paying off 20 to 1 Who you telling? You don't think these politicians ain't selling? Doctors ain't selling Cops ain't selling While rocking your melon? Cop car smelling like Cali Blue Dream In New York Brothers like What do you mean? I mean switch the philosophy Think of the economy Plants, herbs, and roots Are nature's technology Bum, 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 bum. We are not the dumb ones We see how the drugs run we see where they come from Governments are selling it Every game one ton They declare a war on drugs When drugs won Brothers on that lockdown Sisters in that lockup Things were good in the hood Till them D's popped up Brothers getting shot up Cause the system's unjust Segregated justice It's just them I didn't mean to fuck your mind like that though That was rude of me Fuck <laughs> Uh, you gotta see this incredible stuff Just blew Gringo's fucking mind Again, man, I'm blowing minds left and right. This is what I've been telling you for a while now, at least a month or two. And uh, it's just absolutely incredible. This is 100 proof. And get into some more crazy shit when this is over with. It's only like two minutes. But yeah, check this out. The Giants of Old. 30 foot. 6,000 pounds. Noel Reeves found monstrous footprints near Kempsey, Australia. In sunstone beds on the Upper Maclea River. One print shows a toe 4 inches long, and the total toe span of 10 inches, suggesting that the owner of the print may have been 17 feet tall. In South Africa, a giant footprint of a woman measuring over 4 feet long has been carbon dated at approximately 9 million years old. Pointing to the probability of this being a female, human-like species foot, proportionally the two-legged being would need to be some 30 feet tall. The local African people commonly refer to this as a highly revered and sacred site. Prospectors working in the Bathurst district, New Brunswick, in the 1930s frequently reported coming across numerous large human footprints fossilized in shoals of red jasper. Based on the size of these footprints, the people who made them would have been 20 to 30 feet tall. Even more impressive were fossil deposits found by naturalist Rex Gilroy, around Bathurst, New Brunswick. He excavated from a depth of six feet below the surface, and found a fossil of a lower back molar tooth. Measuring right 67 millimeters in length by 15 millimeters by 42 millimeters across the crown. If his measurements are correct. Folks, they've got a picture of this. I've been looking for it everywhere. And the guy is holding this in his hand. And it's bigger than his fucking hand. <laughs> oh, man. The owner of this tooth would have been at least 25 feet tall. And weighed well over 5,000 pounds. Can you fucking imagine? In the middle of valley of the Blue Mountains, Australia. Mr. P. Holmer found an ironstone protruding from a creek bank. The deeply impre- You better start to imagine... Because, uh, they're about to be back. <laughs> Don't, dude. You're making me laugh. The owner of this tooth would have been at least 25 feet tall and weighing well over 5,000 pounds. In the middle of valley of the Blue Mountains, Australia, Mr. P. Holmer found an ironstone protruding from a creek bank. The deeply impressed print of a large human-like foot was on that stone. The print was that of the instep, with all five toes clearly shown. This footprint measures seven inches across the toes. Had the footprint been complete, it would have been at least two feet, 60 centimeters in length, appropriate to a 12-foot human. However, the largest footprint found on the Blue Mountains was a footprint three feet long that would represent a giant close to, if not over, 20 feet tall. Folks, oh. I got news for you. Ain't nothing. Steve Quayle. Fucking human being extraordinaire. And I believe him, man. I believe anything Quayle says. They have found skeletons up to 400 feet tall. Oh, I'm lying. I'm lying, I'm dying. I'm dying no time soon. 
Now, somebody wanted to question me and ask me about, uh, it's like, man, there's no way in hell they got people that big. Well, for one, that ain't nothing. I was just being, uh, conservative. They found some bigger than your fucking mind can't even conceive of. Picture how tall someone would have to be to hold a lion like a cat with one arm. Or to move one of those incredibly sized stones like at the pyramids by himself or I mean there's shit there's a lot of good ones how about his head is the same size as a bigger even than a bulldozer oh come on you know I'm not lying folks I wouldn't do that to you. There's shit hidden that you have no idea about that they don't tell you. Look at this shit. I'm talking lion. That's the real fucking skeleton right there. You want to follow the link? There you go, right there. SkeletonPictures.org Real fucking deal. Crazy like a fox. How about some newspaper articles? Hey, you might want to do that too. Go to your local library. Look for shit like this. This is this ain't it. They got fucking evil ones. Watch this shit. There it is. Evil skeletons. These are the supposed fallen angels, if you will. And most of these are I mean the skeletons are real but like the eyeballs and shit like that th those are just like depictions put together of what they would look like and they got some real fucking crazy creepy ones in here like this here they, they got crazy freaking marine animals that are incredible All sorts of freaking skeletons. Even funny skeletons. Wait, like this. Look at the bulldozer. Look at a fucking head. Fucking two, three bulldozers. What the fuck? Here they are. Excavating the site. I don't know what you want me to tell you, folks. Real deal. Like I say, this fucking book don't lie. To the letter. Incredible. And if it's that credible now, oh my goodness, what is coming, what is going to come on this earth is fucking unreal. I mean, it says, it says in the Bible too, you know, men died of fear, you know, died right on the fucking spot. They're so scared. I think it's got shit to do with demons will be manifesting themselves 
right in front of you. You'd be sitting in your house, all nice and cozy, and dozens of them will just manifest right in your fucking house. One. That's just one thing. Imagine a fucking 40 foot tall person. Wow. 400 feet tall. Now, some of them you can see. Look at this shit. Fucking Cyclops. And people say that this, like, they're trying to debunk it like it's, uh, some kind of an elephant or something that had a horn there or something like that or somebody hit it with a hammer. No, that's formed skull. Formed skull. No trickery or nothing. And some of them got double rows of teeth. And like I said, that one guy, there's a picture of a fucking guy holding that tooth in his hand, and the, I mean, I don't even have anything around to, to depict it. I don't have nothing to, that fits it. <laughs> it was bigger than his hand. And, like. So, uh, that's when Grindel started laughing his ass off. He's like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, man. You know what you gotta look at, folks? You gotta follow this type of shit. Look, I told you, you go to these links, man. You just type something in, like, uh, images of giant skeletons. Or images of anything. And it'll do the best search, come up with the best sites and everything like that. And so you like you go to one of them, you know, click on it, and they all have this. And you go there, and it's usually an incredible fucking site with incredible information that you've never heard before. <laughs> Follow the rabbit hole. Ferry in Texas, folks. I mean, here's something else to blow your mind. Fairies and gnomes. I mean, gnomes like fucking a foot, two feet, one foot, two feet tall. They exist. <laughs> folks, you do know all these fairy tales that you grow up with. They're not fairy tales. They're vicious, bloody, brutal, murderous stories that they told to fucking kids. For, and I forgot why. Because, I mean, I read up on all this shit, but I don't, I don't even want to think about that. It's just unreal. So that's how you find these sites. Can go look up the fucking news articles. You know what I'm saying, Sean? Feel like learning, bitch? Be back some more shit soon. God bless and carry on. Don't get